to another video and in today I'll be giving you guys a tutorial on how to make math in Minecraft and I've used this from anything from a uh, train generator or the new chess AI that I'm working on currently but this is extremely helpful and will help you guys a lot in a lot of different projects especially the technical aspects of the game where you actually will need math so I'll be going through everything from the basic operations how they work and some more advanced stuff like square root and and like squared you know so uh, let's get straight into it first up here i'm just gonna press this to set the scores here i can actually show you guys this if you want this is just to set the scores on the side there and boom so basically first thing this is um the equals argument as you can see in here basically what this does is the y uh the y math will copy the x math uh math is maths score so right now you see the x is at five and y is at two and y is going to copy the x so y is going to turn into five as you can see right there next up is the plus argument as you can see right here this is basically uh, basically going to take the s uh, the x score and plus it on the y score so this is going to be five plus five so the y score is going to be 10. so pretty nice and as you can see as well the x score keeps its five it doesn't get removed or anything like that um next up is the minus works the same as the plus but just the opposite way where it takes away right so this is going to be 10 minus 5 which is 5 on the uh, y scoreboard next up here this is um you know multiplication this is gonna do take the y and times it by the x so this is going to be 5 times 5 and the uh, y scoreboard is, uh, is going to get 25 on its score as you can see right there next up is the division this is basically the same thing again just the opposite way it's going to divide the y by the x scoreboard so this is going to be 25 divided by 5 which is 5 as you can see the y, uh, y scoreboard has a 5 now uh, next up is the percentage or percentile thingy basically how this one works this one's a little bit more uh, weird but basically when i press this button the y is going to turn into zero as you can see right here and basically is this thing gets the reminder and basically what I or remainder basically what that is is the leftover part after subtracting the, uh, the product of the divisor and the quotient from the dividend so I'll have the formula right here on the screen and basically a uh, quotient is the whole number result of the division and I'm pretty sure you guys know what a dividend and divisor is so yeah next up here this uh, basically if um, if y here is lower than x, then in the y score is going to copy the x scoreboard. So right now, as you can see, the y is 0, which is lower than 5. So the y scoreboard is going to turn into 5, as you can see right there. But if I do something like slash scoreboard, players set y math to, for example, let's say 6, which is above 5. It's not actually going to turn into 5. It's just going to stay at 6. Let's reset there. And... This is the other way around. If the Y scoreboard is higher than the X, it's going to go down or it's going to copy the X. So as you can see, it turned into five. But if I were, for example, to make it below five, like four, it's not going to actually copy the X scoreboard. As you can see, pretty nice. Next up is um, the this one. Basically what this one does, as you can see right here, it's going to swap the two scoreboards. So right now you see X is on 3 and Y is on 6, but it's going to switch them around and now Y is on 3 and X is on 6. So I'm going to just press this a few, a few times so you guys can see it on the side there, pretty cool. But basically it just swaps the two variables, which is pretty nice. Next up here is we have squared. Basically this uh, what this one does is it takes the uh, scoreboard you have and squares it. So right now, uh, it's going to take the X scoreboard and times it by itself, as you can see right here, which is, you know, squared. So as you can see, it got 36, which is uh, fully correct. But if you want to, for example, power it to the third, you can't do this one more time, the, uh, this thing one more time, because you can see it's going to do 36 times 36, which is way too much. So what you got to do then is basically, I have this uh, the same thing here. This one you can add infinite more and that is actually going to do the correct thing. But basically it, it saves the score to a temp score as you can see right here. So it's going to save the, the Y score, right? 
into a temp score and then it's going to do uh, the y times the temp and then the same thing over again and this is powered to the third and you can add infinite more of these after you've saved it into a temp score so as you can see it's um three right now but now it's going to do three times three times three which is power to the third and as you can see it turned into 27 which is correct because three times three is nine and nine times three is 27 and for example if i want to turn this to uh, uh even like bigger score i just take this one right here copy it so now it's going to be power to the fourth when i add this extra one here oh and now it's going to be powered to the fourth press this button and boom it's 81 and i'm pretty sure that's correct you guys can correct me but i'm i'm very very sure that's correct so the more advanced part this is basically how to do square root with uh, uh scoreboards so here we have our initializer uh, you could call it this is basically um as you can see the y value is what you're really going to need that's the the number you want to be square rooted right and the two is just so you can divide by two so i'm just going to first show you that uh, what you need for this actually you only need these two right here um this is the one you set to what you want to get square root and then this one is just five by two so just copy those two and you're good next here i'm just going to show that this works so this is going to turn into eight if it is working correctly and as you can see there on the guess scoreboard or the guess fake fake player name or fake entity it's going to say eight as you can see right there which is perfect and as you can see that this might look a little bit menacing but um realistically speaking the whole system is actually just these glass pieces but it's getting repeated right so these first two um i kind of uh, symbolized them as orange because you only need these two in the beginning like this no more after you've done that right but these blue ones are the one you're gonna are the ones you're gonna copy multiple times so actually these towers here right this big tower is actually just multiple of these um one two three four five right so yeah as you can see it worked uh, with 64 and then for example if i turn it to 16 it's gonna work it's gonna turn into uh oh i forgot to press this button first it's gonna turn into four as you can see right there and i can press this multiple times and it's still, it's still just gonna stay at four but the, th the reason why i said that you had to repeat the blue ones multiple times upwards is because you need to uh if it's bigger numbers it's not gonna be able to calculate that uh correctly if you don't have multiple of these stacked up so for example if i do an insanely large number like uh, i'm just gonna say 2000 oh that's 200 2000 as you can see right here oh i forgot to press this button the guess is 129 which you guys probably know which uh it's not correct um so the reason why it didn't actually do the thing it's supposed to do is because i don't have enough of these repeated after each other um, so yeah pretty simply um but yeah to showcase uh, this the first thing these two are only you only need these two at the start the two orange ones basically this copies uh, the scores here as you can see and now for the ones that are going to get repeated are these right here boom 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 and boom and as for scoreboards for this whole uh, ordeal i forgot to say just add the scoreboard named um math and this is for all the scoreboards in this whole video just it's just math and then you're good uh but yeah i'm gonna actually show you guys that you need to repeat only these so for example let's go back into my example with uh 64 right which does work perfectly as i've shown you guys as you can see boom it turns the guess into eight which is correct but if i were to for example just remove these ones like this now the guess is going to be i think it's 32 yeah which is not correct because it only has this repeated once but if i get my I give myself a structure block basically what you're going to say what are you guys going to do after you build all these class ones uh, all you're going to do is uh, take a structure block um go into this or go next to this one right here then for me it's going to be offset by minus one put this offset to zero and then this one to the and then boom as you can see you have this um marked right then you name this whatever you want it to be i'll just name it e for uh, simplicity then save and then you go up here and then you press load e 
and before I load another one, I'm just going to show you what happens now after I added another one. So I press this and I'm pressing this. Now it's 17 instead of, which is still not correct. So you need another one. Load E. Boom. And now let's test one more time. Is that enough for the number 64? Um, press this button, press this button. Now it's 10, still not enough, right? That means I got another, add another one. And then this one, uh, E, boom, load. And now I press this button again. Now it's eight, which is correct. And now it's fully calibrated. I can add another one so it does even bigger numbers. Um, and it's still gonna do the eight perfectly fine. So, um, load like this, and as you can see, the square root still stays as eight because this system just goes until it reaches kind of um, zero in a way. Not zero, but basically, when it's reached the answer, it's just gonna stop, even though you have more of these. But you need no, more, you need more of these if you have a bigger number. Basically, that's how it works. Uh, if I explain that in a good way, so you guys can understand. But now that I added way more, I can probably do a bigger number, like, for example, I could probably do uh, 128 now, maybe. Let's see if I can do 128. Oh, I didn't press this. Um, I don't know if that's correct. Hold up, let me, let me go to the calculator and check if that is correct. It's 11.3. Point one point three. So this is actually correct. The only thing about Minecraft is it doesn't actually hold decimals, so it rounded the number of one hundred and twenty-eight to eleven instead of eleven point three eight and so on and forth. Like the number was big, right? A lot of decimals. Let's just rounded it, um, rounded it to eleven because Minecraft can't hold um, integers, only floats. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.